What's good YouTube, Fuego Mario here back and in today's video I completed all of season 4 multiplayer prestige challenges. Now all these challenges were basically self-explanatory but there really isn't too many like to gameplay to show you guys. I'm gonna just give you guys the best tips I did. So yeah, if this video helped you out in any kind of way, please like and subscribe. We're doing this every season. So yeah, stay tuned for the video. Let's get it. Alright, so first things first, I'm gonna just start off by showing you guys the reward you get for completing all of season four multiplayer prestige challenges. So this is the corner card you will be getting for completing all of the challenges. Now these are the challenges from season one, season two, and season three. I'm gonna leave the links in the description. I don't know if you can still complete them and get XP, or maybe you still maybe you get the war still. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna just leave it in the description just in case. Alright, so first chance we got here is get 500 eliminations with a full auto weapon. Just don't use a burst gun, use an AK, LMG. Just don't use tactical rifles, alright? Next thing we got is kill an enemy that hasn't recently moved from the location 25 times. Honestly, I didn't even know I got this or did this challenge. Literally, just keep playing and you'll get this um as you play. So, yeah. Alright, so for this one, complete nine daily challenges in multiplayer or Warzone. So, basically, just go to your daily challenges menu and just see what challenges you would like to do. Because some of them will just be like play two search and destroy games and I didn't want to play search. So, I just replaced it with another one. Like, I got 10, destroy 10 vehicles. So, I got like get 50 kills with an SMG. So, yeah, I just see which challenges you got, daily challenges. For, so for this one, get two headshot kills and a single life 25 times. Now, I did this one get, trying to get the MG82 gold. Just use a, a scope on the gun and just aim for the head. I don't know what to tell you. It should be simple. Just get two headshots. So for this one, get five kills with score streaks or kill streaks in a single game nine times. So for this one, my setup is artillery, napalm, and straight front. Now, straight front is the number one score streak I like to use just because straight front is literally your kills. You're guaranteed like three kills when, like, when it comes back around. Now, I did this in the map Nuketown just because it's a small map. You'll eventually kill somebody with, with your score streak. So, do this in Nuketown. It's a small map. And, yeah. All right. So, for this one, get 75 eliminations in single life elimination mode. So, that means search, gunfight, blueprints, I believe, VIP escort. Now, I didn't feel like playing search just because it's too many trials, even though gunfight, blueprints was too many trials. But I did this in gunfight, blueprints just because I, I always get kills i'm guaranteed kills i'm like guaranteed 10 kills a game so i don't know about search i'm not that nice since i just don't like playing slow so i like playing gun i did this in gunfight blueprints so i don't know about you guys maybe search for you guys or gunfight blueprints or maybe even vip escort all right so kill 75 enemies who are at a lower elevation so what this means is you got to be at a higher ground and kill somebody that's lower than you so the two maps i could recommend is nuketown and hijack 24 7 so because you know hijack has the two sides and Nuketown has the two sides as well. So just go on one of those sides and just shoot down on somebody and you'll get this. Just kill 75 enemies and you should be good. All right, so for this one, rapidly get a kill with both weapons that you are carrying 30 times. So basically just get a, basically a double kill with your primary and your secondary. So. Once you kill somebody with your primary, you just switch to your secondary and also get a kill. It has to say double kill for, for in order for this to count. So just rapidly, once you kill somebody with your primary, quickly take out a secondary and kill somebody else. And you just do this 30 times and you should get it. All right, so for this one, complete a match with at least twice the number of eliminations and deaths nine times. So what this means is, let's, let's just say I die 20 times. I have to finish the game with at least 40 kills. Another example is if I if I had five deaths when the game um, ends, I have to finish off the game with at least 10 kills or more. You know, you understand? Basically, you basically have to double the number of deaths you have. So you basically have to go positive. This was pretty difficult, but if you're, you're nice, I did this in Nuke. Most, most, all of these I did in Nuketown. Just keep that in mind. Most, all these chances I did in Nuketown. So yeah. All right, so for this one, get 50 kills while sliding. Now I suggest put in the perk gun hole. Just make, it makes your, your sliding more smoother and shoot earlier. So, and just put the best hit fire accuracy on your weapon that you're choosing. Now I did this with the MP5, but I used the five wheel of my laser and put the best hit fire accuracy um thing on it so just get slide kills my i recommend using mp5 but it's your choice shotgun three sweep or whatever you like using a sniper rifle fire three consecutive shots that deal damage to enemies five times so for this one i use the swiss swiss has the fastest ads i love the swiss so basically all you want to do is all those three shots you you took basically has to hit somebody in a row don't miss so and 
hitting the same guy twice counts so just keep that in mind you do not have to kill them but hitting the same guy twice counts so yeah just get just hit three consecutive shots and you should get it so for this one destroy 50 enemy score streaks or vehicles when i was trying to get the mg82 gold i, I was playing hardcore nuketown hardcore nuketown there's always uavs counter uavs going up so just put the perk engineer on just look up in the sky there should be a whole bunch of uavs and counter UAV, counter uavs up so yeah just keep destroying score streak and yeah get 250 eliminations with your secondary weapons now you can either do this with your favorite secondary or you can run the perk overkill and put your primary weapon in your secondary so i was using the mp5 like i said just put your favorite secondary i mean primary on your secondary and just keep getting kills and it will count all right so for this one earn 200 support assists with score streaks equipment or fuel upgrades now what i did for this one i ran uav counter uav now if you could get a harp run a harp those all that's probably the three main ones that was give you a lot of assists now you can also use jammer those fuel upgrades jammer fuel mic those will give you assists just i got this playing on i wasn't really going for it just keep playing just run those perks uh, i mean run those perks just run those streaks and you'll get it yeah self-explanatory all right so for this one get 250 kills while aiming down sight using a weapon with an attached two times magnified scope or greater now i have fun with this just because i put a three times scope on the new gun which is the mg82 and put all five attaches on it and just got 250 kills with it in nuketown basically and just go stupid i, I recommend doing this with the mg82 that gun is just so the fire rate on that is just ridiculous just use that here's the class setup if you guys want it so yeah using a sniper rifle kill an enemy more than 250 meters away now i did this in the game mode combined arms in the map armada i suggest doing this in combined arms all the maps are big now you're wondering how the hell you're gonna know you're 250 meters away so i don't know what your button is to mark mark a location or mark an enemy so just mark the a location and then it will show up a meter right under your your marker so just make sure you're 250 meters away and i suggest using a tundra just because the tundra is the probably the best gun for long range and yeah just make sure it's 250 meters you're behind the, the marker that you're looking at and just get a kill basically you might get a hit marker just because the tundra you're in a far 250 meters is really far so you might get a hit marker so yeah get a kill with both a weapon and a piece of equipment in the same life 50 times this one was so stressful at first i was doing this with the molotov equipment now just no just a reminder everybody in the moms run flag jacket so you don't even expect to get a kill and then get a frag kill or a semtex kill you're just not gonna get it now for this one i was starting off with the molotov just because if you throw a molotov at somebody and you hit them and they're on fire and you kill them right after with your gun it counts as a molotov kill but i didn't like that method just because like it, like you have after you throw a molotov and they get hit for the fire after two seconds it doesn't count after that and i was like nah i'm using a tomahawk this is taking too long so basically all you want to do is put tomahawk on and just run the quarter master perk just because it regenerates your your equipment so you can either kill somebody or kill somebody with a tomahawk first it doesn't matter so basically tomahawk somebody and then kill somebody and then it should count just keep doing that 50 times i don't know why they made it 50 times it was just so annoying so yeah just use a tomahawk and your favorite primary and you should get it kill an enemy that had previously damaged you first 30 times this is another challenge i was just simple like you're getting you i was i didn't even look at this challenge i, I just got it like naturally i didn't even look at it so i don't even know what to say to this just play regularly get 75 kills using iron sight weapons now what this means is got 75 kills with no scope on your gun so i did this with the ak 47 u you could do this with your favorite lmg maybe but all the iron shots in this game in my opinion is ass but i i use the ak-47u you can use any gun of your choice all right so for the last challenge is complete a public match with a score or placement among the top 10 percent of players five times now i was confused about this one just because it says complete a public match now i was playing nuketown 24 7 and i was like the top top tippy top and it for some reason it didn't count now I read it again and it says complete a public match. So what I did was I clicked quick play and I went to kill confirm the game mode and just play the map and play the game out. And as you see the screenshot, I was basically the number, the number one guy with the top score. Now for all five of these games I played, I was always number one. I don't know if you, I don't know what top 10% means. Basically, I don't know if it might be top three, but I'm not sure. So just try to be top three and score. In the whole lobby now you don't have to win the game because i lost one of these and it still counted with me being top score but my best tip is just to get get on streaks like i was like on a seven streak my my score went like that boosted up but that's the best tip i could give you guys uh just reach number one top score just try to be the top score and yeah all right so that's it for the today's video hopefully that video helped you out there wasn't really too much explaining to do just because it was self-explanatory this season so 
yeah every season i'll be doing these type of videos so if you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did this video helped in any kind of way please like subscribe and yeah stay tuned for the next one peace